So for today, we're going to be looking at the Guardian Games Eververse pieces. We're going to be looking at a lot of it. We're not going to be looking at emotes because this video would take forever considering there's a lot to look at. And we're going to be looking at ghost ships and sparrows pretty sparingly just because, again, there's a lot in this event, specifically just like a lot of junk stuff. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think about Guardian Games. I'm going to be real with you. I think it's going to be boring like every year, but hopefully I'm proven wrong this year. So. First and foremost, we're going to be looking at King of the Ring. This is the new stuff for the, for this event, specifically the new stuff. Unfortunately, these ribbons don't change color on pretty much anything, if I remember correctly. So that's a bummer considering the armor has this and I am not the biggest fan of it, which we will get into the armor. We will get into the armor. Um, yeah, the ribbons are fine, I guess. I don't know. Fucking just, uh, I don't it. Pieces that don't change color will never not piss me off just because it's like, bro, like, just let me change the color. <laughs> um, that's, that's all the vehicles. Uh, for the armor for the hunter, it's going to be right here. I actually really like this armor. I've already got all of it for the all the classes, so expect an armor review and a shader review plus the class specific videos. Um, yeah, I really like the hunter's one. Uh, it's pretty cool. That being said, um, if you see any of these like confetti type thing or the guardian games like logo it's not going to change color unfortunately um so any red yellow and blue won't change color specifically when combined with the other colors so like the colors up here as well don't change color but the blue in the face and pretty much any other blue is going to change color uh we're, we'll look at the titans and warlocks after we're done looking at all this so served is meh we have exercise cycle. We have toy hula hoop. We have touchdown dance. We have let's hear noise or let's hear some noise. Again, don't really care about this. Out of breath. <clears throat> I, yeah. I'm really happy I don't care about emotes because this would suck i feel bad for people who actually really like emotes because some of these are fucking terrible like thousand dollars for that one's crazy or a thousand dollars ten dollars for that one uh we saw that one parabellum four i think that one is uh yeah like it looks cool like does it look cool it definitely does look cool would i get it probably not we have tassel we are to look at that one classy shell <clears throat> This one is cool. Has a lion, the snake, and the eagle or hawk. Cool. Uh, richly caparisoned. Don't even look at that one. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to say this one. Bookafellas. Bookafellas. I don't know. Uh, not looking at. I I draw the line at projections. I don't care if you comment. You're gonna look at all of it. I do not care. We have Aspiring Challenger. This is dope armor. Just be aware that a lot of it, like, I shouldn't say a lot of it. It's literally just the the red, yellow, and blue. If you see it combined like that, it's not going to change color. And this one has quite a bit it's on the boots, on the chest piece, on the cloak, um, right here as well, and on the back as well. But other than that, this, this is like one of my favorite armor sets just because the helmet is really cool. The cloak is super unique. I think the boots and the arms are actually, like, viable more arms and boots and then the chest piece i think is the weakest portion um <clears throat> we get to my favorite armor which is this one right here i've all of it is really cool um cloak also has a unique animation where or not animation but it has a unique look that when you put it with a helmet that takes off the cloak it actually puts it down instead of takes it up t takes it away so that's really cool um my other favorite m mostly the helmet honestly the helmet the arms and that's it. I don't like the cloak. I, th I think that chest piece is terrible and the boots you can use. I just don't use it a lot, but the arms and the helmet I use like a lot. It's been more, more the helmet, if anything else. And this one I still don't have just because this is still trash. All like the blue, the red and the yellow do not change color. It is trash. Do not get this. Um, give them the chair. <clears throat> the spins. Knockout punch. I would actually get this. No, that's not the one I was thinking of. This is the one I was thinking of. Shuffle and scat's pretty cool. Yeah. We have a championship dance. We have curling shuffle. 
Gladiator blows. This is going to be a while, guys. Give him a G. Participation trophy. I'm not even looking at them that long because, again, we have a long way. Reigning champion. I'd get this one. <clears throat> Standing, stand on ceremony. I'm probably not even going to play that much of this event, to be quite honest with you. Just because, like, this is so, like, I would have to play so much to, like, actually, rep like, represent or play this game a lot. I'd get this one just because it does change. Um, tug of war shell. But, like, yeah, this, this is not my hate, most hated event, I would say. Just because, like, it is cool, I guess. I guess I think it is actually my most hated event. It's like it's cool, but like fuck is it terrible? Um, I just think uh, I Just think something that has like a competition between the classes just breeds a uh, class toxicity, which is Why I don't like it? Um, it's yeah, it's not good. It just it breeds a lot of animosity towards the classes Which is why it pisses me off. It also isn't really that well represented considering like what is it like fucking 80 percent of people who play this game play hunters so it's like you could have done literally any type of event um <clears throat> but you chose to do one where you pit all the classes against each other also i'm not naming these you can you can read them i'm oh this one is cool oh shit does it change color of course it doesn't why would i yeah that's terrible um uh, Triple bogey. I'd get this one. This is funny looking. But this, I don't know. I also just hate the Guardian Games logo because, like, it's every. I'm not buying that, sir. No, no. Uh, it just it covers the whole thing, and it's hard to combine yellow, red, and blue. When yeah, it's just I get it. It's an event, but it's still kind of annoying. Lawnmower. Okay, sure. Pistol pose. I like this one just because it's super cool. Oh, it does change color. Can you turn the glow off though? That'd be cool. <coughs> not that. Not with that one. Um, where is? Here it is. Not with that one. But monk. No, it doesn't change. Okay, so you can't turn it off at all. Well, you could probably turn it off, but you have to find the shader. I'm not doing that. Um, this one. <laughs> This one looks cool. Oh shit, that looked cool. Oh, all right. Pace setter. No oh, changes when you use your boost. Not this one. Runner up. Oh god, this is victory lap. Man, this this event has a lot of fucking sparrows, ghosts, and mostly sparrows. Well, sparrows. Oh no. It just has so much useless shit, bro. It's so it sucks too, cause like I, this game devalued sparrows, ghosts, and ships so fast. I think like in Destiny Two or Destiny One, it was a little bit better than this. In Destiny fucking Two, it's just like it throws so many of them that it just kind of made them all just kind of trash. Which means it kind of sucks, cause like a lot of people really don't care about ghost ships and sparrows. When Bungie could have really, really done some cool shit with both of them. Um, with all three of them, I mean. Because, like, I would have I would have been wilding out. <clears throat> this is a ship? I thought this was a sparrow. Um, hold on, give me a second. More fucking emotes, bro. Jesus Christ. Were the emotes we saw just like, oh, this is for this season, for this event. Not, like, or this current event. Oh, my God, bro. Sorry if I'm complaining a lot. It's just, this is a lot. Um... But yeah, I I want to make a video explaining my thoughts because like I really think Bungie kind of messed up with with sh uh, ghost ships and sparrows. Ships they could have they could have gone the the Warframe route and make you an actual like ship with with your own area. That would have been so cool. I mean, granted, Bungie probably would have found a way to like charge you extra for having that area, but <clears throat> having that would have been so cool. Because then it would have been your own little apartment kind of thing. That would have been so cool. You can like get your vault. Maybe have some more space in there as well. Like maybe have a ship vault where you can put a little bit more extra stuff. Maybe your super duper ex like favorite weapons. Um, Cause uh, yeah, it kind of sucks that ships are just kind of like trash. I mean, some are cool. It's just like 
they really serve no purpose. I'm not looking at projections, like I said. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, they really don't serve a purpose. Uh, I know people are going to be like, oh, it'll take you to location. I'm like, whatever, dog. Like, fucking, that doesn't, like, I wanted to do more. Uh, Sparrows, I feel like they really should have added more uh, variety when it comes to, like, speeds, bonuses, stuff like that. Because, like, right now they're kind of just trash. Like, all you, we used to only use one Sparrow because it was the fastest. Now they've just changed all of them to the same speed. But always on time still makes you like makes enemies react to you slower, so it's still gonna be better. Titans, uh, armor wise, I like a lot of it. Uh, I think the helmet's really cool. I think the chest pieces are really cool. I think the I think the arms are pretty cool considering they're symmetrical. Boots are symmetrical as well, which are decent as well. And I think the mark is actually really cool as well. Um, again, the only thing that sucks is that chest piece has some some of that. Yeah, that sucks because the chest piece was actually like one of the coolest pieces. And now that I'm seeing the, like the, whatever this is called, like I re I I'll, I literally just said the name not too long ago. Um, the confetti. Yeah. Now that I saw the confetti on this and on, the, I think this is the mark. That these two are not going to be used by me that much probably, just because again, like I said, the confetti doesn't change color, which means it's going to be terrible considering it's blue, pink, and yellow. Which I'm not complaining about the colors. The colors are fine. It's just. It's the fact that they don't change color. I think that's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, let's go look at the other armor. So this armor is really cool. The helmet, I love to death. I think the boots are really cool. I think the arms are really cool. I think the chest piece is kind of on the boring side. And I think the mark is really cool as well. Uh, this is super dope armor. I think the helmet is so good. I think the arms, boots, and chest piece are really cool. I think the mark is really cool. I think all of it is really cool. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, this helmet is one of my favorite helmets in the game for Titans. I use it a lot on my casual looks, but I also like the boots and the in the mark. Uh, the arms and the chest piece are like the weakest portions to me. And again, this is trash. Don't pick it up. None of it changes color. Like it's really, really terrible. Probably one of the worst armor sets that Bungie has made, probably ever. Just because again, a lot of it does not change color, and even then, like a lot of the armor pieces do not look good that's fair though considering this is the first armor we got from guardian games so i guess even though that's not a good excuse and last but not least warlocks we are looking at you and again if you see any of the confetti it's trash thankfully i'm not look i'm not seeing a lot of confetti for titan or warlocks uh the only thing that sucks is it is on your arms right here but that's i feel like i could get ignore that considering most most of the time you're going to be looking at warlocks like this even though it's still going to bug me the bond has it and it's all of it that's pretty terrible but the helmet doesn't have it which is really cool considering i'm really excited for this helmet the boots don't have it which is really cool because i like these boots arms are pretty cool as well and the chest piece is super dope it's just unfortunate that it's on the arm but other than that it looks really really cool um this armor so funnily enough this is like the least used armor set from the guardian games armor sets that i have just because i forget that i own it that being said the boots i use quite a bit arms uh they're cool i don't use them a lot though the chest piece is pretty cool the helmet's decent and i think the bond is just boring for the other sets this armor is my favorite guardian games armor this like that whole year just the most banger armor that we ever got for guardian games it's so good the helmet's good the chest piece is good the boots are good the i wouldn't say good the boots are decent the arms are good and then the even the bond is good because you can turn off that glow and you can just have like an iron band on that which is super super dope um this armor i actually like the chest piece quite a bit i think the bond is pretty interesting i didn't forgot that was the actual bond um the arms is these these are my use my, these, these okay let me let me calm down these arms are the most used arms that I use for Warlocks. They're the best arms in the game for me personally, because not only does it get over the arms or specifically the elbow of any armor you're using, but it's also really cool because you can change the texture of the actual arms depending on what shader you use. It's one of my favorite. I'll actually show you an example of one of my favorite looks that I have with it because it changes the texture of it. But yeah, these arms are so dope. 
like literally my favorite arms for warlocks boots are pretty decent <clears throat> but again if you see any of the red yellow and any of the guardian colors they won't change color and the helmet i think is at well actually i think this armor actually does all change all of the color if i remember correctly helmet's terrible um and then again terrible absolute trash do not get this armor this is from year one i think the boots you can probably get away with using but everything maybe the arms as well but everything else is fucking terrible don't pick it up so that is pretty much it actually let me show you real quick the set that i'm talking about it's this one right here this is like one of my favorite sets that i've made because it changes not only the texture but the color looks really cool as well like i said changes the texture of it gives you gives it this like cool embroidery which goes really well with the chest piece same color and i just like the extra yeah it's one of my favorite arms in the game for warlocks hands down so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point remember i will be making some videos for the new armor specifically the new armor review the shader review and then the class specific videos and then after that uh, we'll be doing some other stuff as well because I'm still doing the tier list. I have to do the season pass video now and well, I have to edit it because it's already done, but I also have <clears throat> some other stuff planned in the background as well. So let me know what you guys think. I also already made the, oh, what's it called? The hell divers video, specifically the hell divers two video where we look at if it's fashion viable. I've already done it. I just need to edit it. And then once that's done. I'll post it because I really want to post that soon. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate it. Be safe. I will see you guys later.